This question may seem intimidating because when we think of the word factor and we think of a, a quadratic, which is what they're giving us, we normally think, oh, we've got to do that thing where we get like two parentheses, right? Equal to zero, x, you know, plus or minus, whatever. That is not what we really need to do here because the word factor has a much more kind of broad meaning. So let's, let's define it. Um, a factor is a number that, or an expression, see, I gotta be careful here, a number or expression, a factor can have variables, a number or expression that divides evenly into a number or expression. Uh, I'll just say something else. So a lot of times we think of factors just as numbers, right? They're the, like, you know, in, in the factors of 12, the factors of 12 are 4, 3, those come to mind, right? 4 and 3 both divide in. 2 and 6 also, notice there's pairings. And then also don't forget 1 and 12 also divide evenly. 5 is not a factor of 12. It doesn't divide evenly in. Um, so we normally think of numbers. And, and that's going to be what the answer is here. Because even though there are all these x's, notice that every term in this expression is divisible by 2, right? So if we divided by 2, this would become x squared plus, uh, what is that, 38, so that's 15 and 4, 19x plus 5. And because there's no equal sign here, technically, if we were to simplify this, the way to do it was the 2 wouldn't disappear when we divide it out. It would just kind of come out and be like attached through distribution now. So th that's technically what we're supposed to do here. We don't need to think about any of this to get the answer, but I, I do kind of foresee how this same exact skill is going to show up in later questions and harder parts of the test. So it is an important idea. And factor is just such an important word. We need to be comfortable with that. It's as fundamental as like addition and subtraction, right? It's just a, a piece of math that we need to be comfortable with. Beyond this, we can't really factor. So notice we can't factor any of these things because that last term, the 10, doesn't have an x. So we can't divide x into that evenly, at least. So it wouldn't work out nicely. That's why those are all wrong. And even beyond that, we can't split this x squared plus 19x plus 5 into the, the factors like this that we normally want to because it, it just wouldn't work out nicely. We can use quadratic formula and do stuff, but we can't do it the normal way. So this ends up being kind of just a simple question in the sense of like divide by 2 and you're done. Um, but I, again, I thought it was a nice way to review this concept of factors. It will come up in lots of contexts on the SAT. It is one of those words that you just need to be very, very comfortable with. You're going to see it in a lot of places.